Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a 5x5 piston door that I made with Red Tech. He's online. He's the second. He's just under the top person. And we just made a 5x5, so this is it. It's 612 blocks, so mind what I did down here. It's for fun. And I will do a tutorial eventually, but in the meantime, I'm going to. See, it's by me. I'm going to change my skin eventually. My smallest, it's not his smallest though. I got help. And it's locational because this is locational. Like sometimes this dust would actually power the middle piston and not this piston that I just broke. And it failed. Like we copied it over here and it broke. So we're lucky to get a location. Anyways, let's see it in action. I'm gonna talk about the door. So it is still on the bottom. And even though this shoots up, we have we have a little delay system up here for when the closing is gonna work, and we use that to actually power the closing and also power the double piston extender to push the blocks down. And the delay for that is just 10 items, and it works really well. And then we have the delay for the bottom, which is just three. And then for the bottom, the closing is really good. It's like my 5x5 from Redstone, which is shutting down today in about 11 hours or so after I upload this video. 11 hours and 40 minutes, maybe. So what I did was, what we did was we connected the first storage to the pushing right here with the monostable, simple monostable. And then the bottom storage here, we connected it to this storage, which connects it to the storage area, so it just pushes everything up easily. And then we have a little double extender thing over here. And then since this here goes into this observer, which needs for the double extender to work. Powers this, but it's pushing up and it only gets one pulse on the closing, which is really good. But on the opening, it gets two pulses, therefore, it can actually, and there's the opening. Thanks, test. And it pushes up twice. And then the top is going. So, once it's up, it will push up. And then what we do, what we did was we actually send two pulses with this T flip flop thing to this line and then we have to use a little locker locker stable thingy it's not really a locker stable just pulse extenders because we need a double piston extender so it's you can't really it's not like those ones with the four tick the observer and then the double extender like this thing because otherwise it wouldn't track down so we had to lock it on a bit to for it to grab the blocks and then pull down, that's why it's a little bit slow. It's the only way to get it to work. And I'm going to try to explain the top closing. So the top closing is relatively simple. We need a delay here, otherwise it would push down, and then the closing on the bottom would push up, breaking it. So what we did was we used a little delay here. You can see that in the torch is locking this. So when we flip it down, the yeah, items will decrease. And then what we do is, is we connect our storage to the double extender for the top. So when we do the extra moves, it's going to pull it up, power the storage, and then do the double extender, which is pretty clever. So that's what the closing is. And then for this part, what it is, is just a little double extender. We have to use the same mechanic over here, but here, it's in a different configuration. It has to go up and down in weird ways. So then... What we do is we power the 2 tick, it gets locked by the 4 tick as a pulse extender. So push down, and then this is budding this 1 tick layer, so it gets a 1.5 tick pulse, allowing it to push down and then retract up. And then we'll, over here we have a clever system, which comes from here because we only use this line twice in the entire door. Well, four times is the extra moves, but two times on the whole quad. So it will retract down and then go back up, allowing for the quad retraction. Which is pretty good, and I'm and here it is. And the extra moves come from the top, and the bottom. 
right here with the two flip flop from the side pistons. And that's kind of it. Remember, I will do a tutorial. I will not be able to memorize this because I'm gonna be quite busy because school's finished and no one likes school. And yeah. I will do more explaining from the tutorial and it will go into deep explanation of how this works. And I just little explanation it little explain I did very little on ex explaining it and all I can tell you is it's locational. I probably said it earlier, so rip. When I do the tutorial it might be on my plot, but it will probably be in a completely different spot than this. It might be all the way over there in order to for it to work. So yeah. So hope you enjoyed this video. Short one of the six for six door. See you. And just before I end it, I'm going to tell you how why this pulses twice. It's because when it's pushing on this pulses once and then when it gets arrives here, they would actually power it. But then on the closing, it's faster because it's retracting it. Therefore, it can extend faster. Therefore, giving it two pulses. And there it is. The quad on the top is pretty simple. We do some, pretty much all the quad is. It's just this double extender this here and this it's pretty small and it works really well so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll show you one more time before i end off the video and i'll see you next time and there's no cooldown even on the toppers